praise the Lord, guys. Brother Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries, guys. Undoubtedly, well, I should use the word doubt. Without a doubt, should use the word doubt again. <laughs> okay, yeah. One of the most famous Psalms is Psalms 23, naturally. I mean, I've seen people tattoo. I don't have any tattoos. If you wanted, that's your business of conviction. But I've seen people tattoo it on their arms. Or they've had it on their arms. They've, it's probably the one of the most famous scriptural psalms or ch you know, chapters in the Bible. And I came under a bit of an unction on the Zoom last Thursday and began to prophesy this psalm over one of the brethren. Now, this is how you do it. No one's adding to the word here. No one's taking away. If you add a takeaway from the word, you're taking the word completely out of context. But you can decree scriptures in the Bible. You can decree and declare and prophesy scriptures and take them as nuggets and keys now. Just stick with me. I'll expound in a little bit. You put your name in there. And my name's Robert or Rob, etc. So I'll teach you how to do this. The Lord is Robert Shepherd. Is it true that God's my shepherd? The Lord, so I put my name in between my and Robert. The Lord is Robert Shepherd. Robert shall not want or Robert shall not lack. He makes Robert to lie down in green pastures. He leads Rob. Now you could put your name there. Go back to Psalms 23 and put your name in there. Here we go. The Lord is Robert Shepherd. Robert shall not want or Robert shall not lack. He makes Robert to lie down in green pastures. He leads Robert besides the still waters or the waters of rest. He restores Robert's soul. He leads Robert in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yo, yea, though Robert walks through the valley of the shadow of death, Robert will fear no evil. For you are with Robert. For you are with Robert. Your rod and your staff comfort Robert. You prepare Robert. You prepare before Robert in the presence of his enemies, a table in the presence of his enemies. I'm sorry. You anoint Robert's head with oil. Robert's cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow Robert all the days of Robert's life. And Robert will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So I'm just encouraging you. You can put your name in there. If your name's Harry, Mary, Sally, Phil, I used to have a Chihuahua named Harry. He was almost 20 years old. I had to have him put down about three, four months ago. 20-year-old Chihuahua, imagine that. But you can put your name in there and make it personal. Now, very quickly, I'll, I'll just expound another minute or two on some. The Lord is my shepherd, David said. At one time, we could agree David was a shepherd that took care of sheep. So he was being groomed and learned how to be a shepherd in the natural. He then had the rev or revelation that God was his shepherd. So in times past, he was working a job, let's say, and he was a shepherd boy. And he learned the art of being a shepherd. Makes me to lie down in green pastures, lays me beside still waters. That's contentment. The Bible says, be abased or abound. There's contentment is great gain. Then it says, walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You're going through this valley. You're not going to go around it. You're going to go through it. And it's a shadow. It doesn't say it's, it's a shadow. The, the enemy could try and scare us through fear with sickness, disease, infirmity, death, hell issues. But it's only a shadow. Don't forget that. Your rod and staff comfort me. The shepherd had a rod and staff. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Your enemies are not your in-laws, your outlaws. You know, when Jesus was going to the cross, Peter tried to stop him. He said, get thee behind me. Peter wasn't the enemy of the Lord, but he was trying to stop Jesus. And Jesus discerned that because Christ had to go to the cross to fulfill his mission. So his blood could be shed on Calvary. And the new covenant could come. You anoint my head with oil. Now stick with me. It's going to get good because I'm going to tell you about the cup that runs over. Back in the, the shepherd would anoint the sheep's head with oil. I'm not going to put oil over my head. 
Uh, praise the Lord. But the oil, speaking of the anointing, would cover their eyes, the sheep's eyes and their ears, because if mites or bugs got in the ear of the sheep, it could get in their head and drive them crazy. The devil wants to get inside our head of your head however he can. Now, they actually, sheep would actually smash their head against a rock because the, the, the mites or bugs would get inside their head. So the oil, this is, this is not in the natural, the oil would cover the ear gate, the ear, the eyes, and uh, yada yada. So my cup runs over. Now listen to this. That's a custom. If you take two cups, they would pour one cup into another and if the cup ran over, let's say at a wedding or a festival or a feast or whatever, and the cup ran over, that meant the person that was pouring into the other person's cup when it ran over, that meant everything I have is yours. Jesus pours into our cup and it begins to runneth over or run over. And that symbolically means spiritually everything I have is yours. The Lord's saying your cup's going to run over. Your cup runneth over. Uh, everything I have is yours, the Lord's saying. So the Lord bless you guys. I thought this would bless you. Just chilling out in the snow, man. Check that out, dude. Like Blizzard Apocalypse 2022. Don't leave your house, dear God. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Amen.